Hey guys, welcome back to PXH, also known as PRX Heart. Chris here, as usual, back again with another album review. And guys, before we get started, make sure you guys hit down that like button onto this video and also comment down below what you guys thought about this album. And also, of course, if you're new here or to Inverser and you haven't yet subscribed, then what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. It really, 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 really helps out this channel. And guys, if you guys aren't following our social media pages, then please um, follow them. The links of those are always in the description of these videos. Definitely check them out. T check out our Instagram page. Check out our Facebook page. Check out also our Teespring store page. You know, there's always some really exciting stuff. Um, and also, guys, uh, before we get started, Comment down below uh, which you guys want me to review um, before 2020 ends. As this year wraps up, you know, recording albums is, you know, always fun within December just because there's a lot of Christmas albums that is going to be released. So, yeah, I don't really record Christmas albums just because I have my own reasons. Uh, I will actually potentially dive deeper into that in a few coming months, you know, maybe. Or next year. Who knows? Uh, we'll see if how life turns out. Or, you know, what is more appropriate to put as a video or something. Whatever. I don't know. But anyway, guys. Let's get into it. Say It is the third album from the Nashville Artist Otherwise known as Jordan Feliz, he is back with his third ever album. And if you guys don't know of who Jordan Feliz is, then he's done popular songs like The River, which if you ever listen to CCM Radio, then you know that The River gets played on there constantly. And also, uh, Witness is also another one of his very famous songs. And he didn't really start getting popular until his actually debuted album, which is called The River, River or Beloved, because there's two variations of bits, but, you know, they're basically the same album. Uh, so there's that. It was released in 2015. So just a little bit of backstory right there. Uh, so my experience with Jordan Feliz is obviously, you know, I've listened to CCM radio, so I've heard his songs on there. I'm not the biggest fan of his, just musically taste. It's just not my type of music. It's just the CCM stuff. That's just, it's just not my taste. So, you know, whenever I get to record one of these CCM albums, they're always a joy to record. It's just like recording a pop album. You know what you're going to get nine out of 10 times. And then that one out of 10 time does surprise you. Does this album, is that one out of 10 times? No, not really. I would have to really say that this album really reminds me of the We The Messengers Power album, which a fine album, you know, whenever you listen to it, you know, there's actually some really good stuff into here. It isn't until you do a deep dive of this um, album and you actually look at the lyrics that it's just like, okay, you know, there's a little bit of flaws into here, not from, you know, what he believes in, because um, there's a lot of truth in here. It's just... There's no substance within a lot of these songs. There's a lot of truth within these songs. There's not a lot of substance. So it's like, here's your bread, and there's nothing much else, okay? There's like no um, like meat or whatever. There's just no variety of, of stuff. Um, it all sounds like a concise album. There's none of that, you know? it factor of you know it's, wow this is a fantastic album it's just like no nope, this this is a good album it's it's fine okay it's just like a ccm album it's probably like one of the better uh, cc albums for this year i do have to say i would have to say that one and we the messengers power is probably like a little bit two of the best um that i've actually listened to and reviewed uh this year so i mean there's that going for it uh as concerned of jordan feliz's album uh, it's probably maybe a little bit of his better ones. It doesn't really add on it to anything of his uh, music quality, but I do have to say that the songs are a little bit better and a little bit more concise and just, I wouldn't want to tear out my ears while listening to this album. So I, I like that, okay? I really, really enjoy, you know, not wanting to tear out my ears while I'm listening to this album. It's just, you know, fine album that if you guys like 
um, CCM albums, then I do recommend you guys uh, listen to this one. Or if you just like some good truth in there, then sure, uh, listen to this one. It's not a bad album all in all. It's just an album that is like, you know what you're going to get throughout this entire album, you know, even before, you know, getting into it. For it being like only really 10 tracks, uh, the last three are just variations on um, some of the very popular songs that you could say that is on this album, uh, Glorify, which is fine, um, and Wounds, which is okay. And that the first song, however, I do have to say is probably like one of the better songs off this album, which is called Jesus Coming Back, just because it it's nice um it has a very nice um gospel entrance so it's just like oh okay this is, this is a little bit fun uh getting into this album um so i i really do like that blend of gospel and ccm just i'm always a big huge blend of blending uh, two different genres into into one even though probably could say that gospel and ccm are basically the same I have to beg to differ because gospel is more like like choir, uh, that type of stuff, where CCM is more like very much your uh, top pops hits. So, you know, whatever you're going to find on the radio. And so overall, I'm going to have to say that this album is better if you just casually listen to it on the Christian radio or just casually listen to it. It's fine um, album. It's not a terrible album. There's a lot of truth into this album. Just you know what you're going to get whenever you first get into this album. If you like Jordan Feliz, then you'll love this album. If you're not a huge fan of his, or if you're not a um, big, huge CCM fan in general, then this album is not going to change that at all. So, there's that. <laughs> so with that, of course, if you guys would, leave a like onto this video and also comment down below what you guys want me to review, especially before 2020 ends. Oh, and also, you know, just other stuff that you guys want me to talk about. Uh, it can be movies, music, topics, you know, you guys put it down below in those comments. Um, and also, if you need here or turn your vision and you love what we do here at Pure X Heart, then one, I do recommend you guys are watching more videos. And also two, hit that subscribe button. Again, it really, 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 really helps out this channel. But with that, remember to go off Jesus and change the culture. Boom. Bye.